Hi, you're listening to Lunchtime Gamers. I'm Cedric here, and we've got Josh. Hi, guys. Okay, so uh, what match is this? This match is an upcoming simulation of the World Cup qualifiers. On qualifier. this Saturday, right? I think it's a Friday night. Friday night, but for us, Saturday? For us, <laughs> Saturday, early in the morning, I guess. Early in the morning, okay. okay. So, uh, England versus Montenegro, right? Yep, that's right. Okay, uh, so, general impressions? General impressions? Um, I think England gonna, gonna walk this. Really? I think Montenegro just can't compare to the depth of England, although the depth of England is not, you know, I know, but not the best compared to teams like England Germany. England do funny stuff, they do funny yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, they, they, some, sometimes the matches you think they're going to win, but end up, you know, they don't fare so well. Oh, 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 <laughs> beauty, beautiful. Who's that, Welbeck? Yep. But, doesn't really look like him, huh? this, this. Yes, <laughs> I, uh, I think the the committee manager, the Adam, oh okay, from WMB used to be the, from WMB. Okay, um, he 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 did say that um they're gonna release more faces. Oh okay, so this is just the uh, the first release. This is just the first release. There are more DLCs coming up. Okay, but um, excluding Wellback, I think the rest look pretty good. Actually, Rob well, does has, has have his space, but I think he's just not as detailed as good players such as Van Persie. Oh, maybe. that's quite sad. So he's not one of the better ones. He, he's not exactly the not best. So <laughs> maybe, but I, I, he's, he's doing quite well. Maybe not now, but last season he was doing quite well. He's been... Um, I think last season Alex Ferguson has been playing him quite a lot, surprisingly. Yeah. I think his form on and off, but more more on than off, if you know what I mean. You know, last more, season. Consi more consistency, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think he's one to look out for. He's still very young. I think he's still he's a very promising player. You know? I think a lot, very a lot, tall, very big build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a very typical man U player. A mm. lot more rooms for improvement. A lot more rooms, yeah. yeah. He's been doing pretty good. He's quite a good approacher, I think. Yeah, but okay. Since but since we're on the topic about the Premier League Premier and, League, and yes. Manchester United, so from my understanding, you're uh, a big a big man U. I'm I'm also a man U fan. Big man U fan. Okay, so so what do you think, um, David Moyes? I I think I think what you think. <laughs> Depressing. David Moyes, I think um, I I actually quite like the way he played the team. I think really, the, 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 I think there's more build up and I, less what, what less I, wing what play. What I feel he's playing Man U like how he's playing Everton. Um, that's that's more of the thing that critics are criticizing him about. Yeah. You know, like he's trying to, he's too one dimension. He's trying to. He's too set in his ways. Like uh, yeah, he's always playing defending. Eh? Yeah, did, did, did you watch the Liverpool, the Man City or the Liverpool game? Right? Yeah, yeah, I did, I, think, I did. I think it's a Man City game, is it? Man City game. Uh, they how, how can you play defending against Man City? I don't really I, understand. I, and that's the reason why we lost. Because he's playing all defensive, you know. Man City is such a good team. Yeah. He passes, through balls and everything. It, and and look at the result. They destroyed us. That match re reminded me of last season. When the, the first match they played against Man City. When they played defending and they lost, what, 6-1? Well, was it last season? Or two, oh, yeah, two seasons ago. Two, yeah. two seasons ago. Oh. The first match, right? They lost really, really bad because they were like concentrating on their defense. Yeah. I, so, uh, I think you would think that that someone like like David Moyes would would know better about about this kind of thing, right? I mean, he's been at Everton for so long. I think. Okay. I think he should have quite a. Uh, a uh, lot of, uh, I think, experience. Okay, but in his defense, maybe we do yeah. not know all that much about managing, but what do you think so far? Do you think he's on the right track to getting Menu back on top? Um, I think it's too early to judge, although people are, how, how many people games are so angry far? about him. Seven, seven games? Seven games in good Champions League and a community issue, I guess. Okay, so... Around there. Yes. And they lost, like, half of it. Eh? But, to be, but to be fair, they are playing against all the big teams, you know. Yeah. They, they have only taken a point away from all the big teams. Okay. Apart from uh, Manchester versus Liverpool during the Carling Cup, where which they won, one yeah, nil. one nil, one nil. Yeah, that's the first win they got. First big against win. A, a a relatively big big, big team, relatively big a, a lot of com competition between the both of them. Huh? Hmm. A switch of play. I, I, I don't know. He he doesn't have the presence, you know. Not like Alex Ferguson. Yeah, not not like Ferguson. But I think it's something that you have to be. You can't get it overnight just because you are a manager. Of, you know. I think I think there's one thing a lot of the fans are forgetting that when Sir Alex Ferguson when he just started, he wasn't that good, also, right? I think there was a period 
there was a low period. There was a low period where he yeah. almost got fired, but they, they gave him time and look at what he's now. Then should we give Moyes, David Moyes time? I think we should give David Moyes time. If we, no, it's it's no only a couple of match in the uh, the season is still early. Yeah. And That's honestly, really I don't really player. expect him to do a tremendous job in his first season. And because, yeah, I know. Yeah, I nobody does that. You know. Yeah, even even if new players, you don't expect new players, new tra transferred players to mm -hmm. perform that well. So, so I guess we should give him time. One season? One season long enough? Um, one season, I don't think so. Two seasons? Two seasons? So, are, are we going to win this Get season? <laughs> That's a tough one, Cedric. Um, unlikely. Top four? Top, top four. five? Uh, I, I think we can. Top six? I think we can ace the top three spot. Really? I, 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 I don't know. The, the, com the competition is quite steep, you know? Um, yeah, especially in recent recent seasons, right? We have Tottenham coming up. We have yeah. Man City being such a powerhouse. I, I, I am a, a, a true blue, or should I say, true red Man U fan. Mm -hmm. I, I've been supporting them since uh, I was very young. Uh, but I, 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 I don't know, this season, they don't have the presence, like what I mentioned earlier. They, I, I don't think they give out that fear that they used to give. Yeah. You know, now they're sort of like how Liverpool were dropping a few years ago. Yeah. Apologize to Liverpool fans. No, no, we don't yeah. have to. Okay, <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe I'm being biased here, but... But uh, I, I'm not sure which match was it, but uh, I, I saw David Moyes, he came up. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, last season when uh, Sir Alex Ferguson was still in charge, mm -hmm. he always wear the signature red tie, the striped <laughs> red. One of the match I saw David Moyes wore like a, a white and blue one or something. A white and blue? Yeah. Like not the... the, the, the Standard Everton. Yeah, yeah, he wore like the, the, the white and blue one, but the blue wasn't that, that prominent. It was like a pastel colored blue, but, but it says something, right? Like yeah, you should wear the red color, even even if it's not From blue, it's still white. But you should wear the red, the stripe, the red mm -hmm. white stripe, because it means something. Okay. Yeah. So wait, 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 are you talking about when he's really in charge in the menu match? Yeah. Of course. He's wearing a light blue. Maybe not. A Man City color. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I'm not sure whether whether was it the Man Man City match, but he was wearing like a white tie with pastel blue. So. Didn't really like that. I think a man of his status should be a bit able, able to afford the red time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we are running half time right now, and the score is one nil. Oh, yeah. Still one nil. Uh, yeah, do you think there's gonna be more goals coming up in, in the real match? Um, hopefully. We kick off for the next forty-five minutes. I, I think England is always good at being at one nil. You know, leading by one. Yeah, and they and, they <laughs> and concede in the last minute. <laughs> I think that's. That's a big problem, but but That's anyway, like like I said, I I really support Man U, but I I think goes. the Carry. the other teams are doing very well, Bates. like Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they have a very good pool of young players, I guess. Yeah, and Oscar has yes, it. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. They're very very talented young players. Not yeah. forgetting the new manager, Mourinho. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> the return to Mourinho. Oh, you know, a couple of years back when he was sacked, right? Yeah. I think there's a lot of couple of years back, but in my mind, is what he was. It, it was, was quite long, it was quite long. It, it was still quite fresh in the back of my mind. I was I was still studying. Yeah. And I have this habit of getting the new paper in Singapore. Okay. You know where they always have soccer Which news on the back. Yes, yes. Or football news on, on the back of the newspaper. And I was quite shocked that I saw, when I saw the, saw the newspaper and I, for a throw in. and I saw that Marino was sacked. Yeah, I, I, I think know. he was doing so good. And I think that's the thing about Chelsea, right? Those clubs like Chelsea. They, they have no patience. They, they, at all. they don't invest the time needed for, for them to perform mm -hmm. and they just sack them. But the funny thing is that the un I believe the chairmen understand football Yeah, and that's why they bought the club over. I think it's more than just business that they have the passion in it as well. But, but they don't seem to understand that uh, manager do need time, you know. If they were to, uh, for for like you know, Matt Chelsea, if they mm -hmm. were to stick with like, a good, a good manager for more than a season, uh, two or two seasons, I think they would they would have more more titles by now. Okay, so same thing for yeah. Man City, right? Yeah. Man City, I I do, I have no idea why they said Man City. <laughs> I thought he was doing quite a good job. Uh, although, although we are man, we are Man U fans, but we are not yeah, like, we are yeah. not too biased. But Mancini is doing quite a good job. I, I mean, a proven manager that won you a won, title. Yeah, I won a title. 
in so many years. Yeah. So in other words, him. we should stay behind David Moyes and spot him. And he sends I think him we should. In. I think we should give him time because. But it's depressing though when we watch yeah, them. It's okay. depressing, but you, I I guess we as fans are depressed. But to be realistic, we do have to. This is promising. What can they more, make of it? How do I say? It? Um, to be fair, that was tough for the keeper. To more have. patient. Okay. Then what about this? Uh, two weeks from now, Man U is playing against Southampton. Home. Southampton. Um, Old Trafford. Well, he was given the time and I think so. I think they're playing at home. Yeah. So what do you think? I think we're gonna win. We're gonna lose. I think they're obviously. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm obviously gonna say they're gonna win because based on the normal stereotype of how good Menu is and Southampton being a not so good team, but I think some Southampton might pull off some surprises. Yeah, Southampton been playing very well, you know, lately. Yeah. Um. They have been playing well since they are promoted. Yeah, yeah. It, it was quite impressive. Surprisingly, did Southampton and Swansea were doing very good last season. Remember? Yeah, yeah. They were. And nobody was expecting them to do so well. So I I think it's gonna be a good match to watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this we are watching this video on pass right twenty fourteen. Yep. What are your impressions of uh, ooh go? Wait wait. Offside. Oh shit offside. Oh no what a shame. So what are your impressions of uh pass fourteen so far? Um. We we over at lunchtime game have got it like. Mm, we have got the game for about three. Two weeks now, close to a month. Close to a month. Mm -hmm. Um, I think. Um, okay. Wait, for for me, I I I follow on soccer, but I don't really play soccer games. So what can you tell, tell tell me like a, a newbie like me about pass? Pass. Um, do you want me to compare it to FIFA or do you want me to? Oh, okay. Like, I I, I play FIFA like okay. a, a very little bit of FIFA. Here and there. Yeah, here and there. Mostly at my friend's place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. What are the difference? Oh, well the difference is, um, I know FIFA fans are not going to like it because I'm quite pro, pro Evo. Pro, pro, <laughs> okay, pro I'm pass. Pro, okay. pro Evo. Uh, um, I think, um, FIFA is, FIFA is it, easy to play though. It is easy to play. It's not a simulation like what, like what um, FIFA fanboys would like them to be. Okay. You know? Because for, for me, I don't play a lot of soccer games, so FIFA mm. is appealing to me because it's easy. It's easy, yeah. Yeah. It, um, don't get me wrong, the game is fun. FIFA is fun. Okay. It's fun for casual play. But it, but it annoys me when people say that FIFA is so realistic. FIFA is... Do they mean the graphics is realistic? I think people have... I think, I think they do have a... Impression from... The way EA markets the game, okay, like, like you know, they have they they spend a lot of marketing, star, right? You know, they they they, they sign exclusive deals with clubs, yeah, like Liverpool this season, yeah, yeah, and you know they lock out, lock the out licensing the, thing, the right? licensing, okay. licensing of BPL, and recently the Spanish stadiums, yeah, yeah, I think, but past gameplay wise, I think it's still the best. But for one, FIFA is a lot richer, right? EA. They have definitely they are, they, are, they make millions every year just by selling games. I, I, I think they they have such big franchise franchises, you know, better few mm. Mass Effect. Well is this gonna be another goal? We have to see. Oh, it's Rooney. Uh, <laughs> it's close though, it's close. Okay, what about graphics wise? Graphics wise, um they are very good because they are using the Fox engine now okay. where they're gonna use on the next gen Metal okay. Gear Solid okay. five. Um, but the it does shows that the console are aging now because they are definitely they are they are like but it's still frame rate though. issues. Is it? It's, it's not smooth. Um, for PS3, there are these strange weird frame rate issues that whereby um whereby there there will be a slowdown after a cutscene. You know, okay. like you know when the ball went out and uh -huh. the the screen actually flip to fit to black. Oh, and when it fits back, it start to lag. At a constant twenty FPS per second estimation. Okay, but uh, what, what I'm seeing here is quite, it's yeah, quite it is, smooth. It is, it is quite smooth for this game. Uh, so it happens it, on and off. It happens on and off. Yep, but I would say like forty to thirty percent of the games. Okay, have you played the new FIFA? Okay. I tried the demo and I'm, I'm not going to buy it. No, I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to buy the same thing. I have thirteen M, and I feel that it's the same. Okay, so it is the same. What about PES? PES compared to 13 is different? 
Um, very different because they are running on the same engine. Yes, same engine? No, I'm, I'm sorry, um, different engine. a different engine, a new engine, a what, Fox engine. The, what about the, the movement? As in, is it more organic? Is it more realistic? It feels very organic. It feels, it feels, it feels good. Mm -hmm. Nearly, if, you know, um, here and there I play nowhere. real soccer in real life, or real football in real life. Okay. And, you know, in real football, you can't really turn three by like big pass. Yeah, yeah. I, I know FIFA is very easy to do <laughs> all the tricks, right? All the tricks, all the 360 roulette and everything annoys the shit out of me. Okay, okay, so, uh, whoa. And, I think, pass is, uh, I'm, I, I, I think, a simulation of football. Because you really have to play build up plays and everything. So are you saying that real soccer fans would prefer pass? I wouldn't say that because it's a game after all, you know? Yeah. Okay. Some people will, wouldn't want to prefer the arcade style. We will prefer, we will prefer the FIFA style whereby you guys oh. join the game or something. One nil. Hopefully they win this weekend. I hope they qualify for World Cup. I, are they qualified already? I'm not sure. Mm, I don't know. Remember, remember in the 2008 Euro that he didn't qualify? Yeah, big hoo-ha. What's up with that? Okay, okay, so uh, we're coming to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to us. Thank you guys. Thank you. See you guys.